Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Derek here from Simnet Nutrition and today I'm gonna to give you some tips on what I do to stay happy and healthy and energized throughout the winter. So I know it's still fall, but winter is right around the corner and what a better time to start some of these healthy habits than right now. Like many people, I have to make a conscious effort throughout the dark winter months to keep the winter blues away. And here on Vancouver Island, it's beautiful right now, but we have an especially long, cold and dark winter ahead of us. So knowing that I have a plan and some things in place that make me feel better and stuff to look forward to really helps me kind of cope through that long and dark season. So in this video, it will include tips that involve being outside, in the forest, in the house, and even at the gym. So let's get started. Getting some natural light every single morning if you can. So even if it is not sunny outside, it's still gonna help you wake up and feel your best if you can just put your eyes towards the sun and just see that natural light. So it's not morning now while I'm saying this, but I did go out this morning and I did this and I've been doing this since the summer and it's been making me feel so much better. If the weather is just too terrible to get outside, you can always sit by a bright window and kind of aim your face towards that window and pick up some of those rays. Uh, and they even sell these like special natural light mimicking lights that you can buy and you can like put on your desk or whatever but i would definitely like look into those and don't buy just like the cheapest one that you can find on amazon you really want to get a good one of those especially if it's going to be like some bright light in your eyes unfortunately staring at your ceiling light does not do the trick so this will help you to balance your circadian rhythm it will help you to wake up quicker and feel your best throughout the day and then it'll actually help you to get to sleep earlier in the evening so it's all good and another thing that really helps me is getting to the gym and working out. So every time I leave the gym, I feel so much better than when I got there. And that's because working out helps to release endorphins. They're like feel good chemicals, natural antidepressants. And it also helps you set goals and work towards them so that you have something to look forward to over the long winter months. <sighs> Going to the gym is also great for seeing your friends and socializing a little bit, and that always makes people feel better. Hey friend, how are you today? <laughs> seeing you here at the gym brings so much light to my life. It makes me feel so happy. I'm glad you're here today. <laughs> so I know not everybody has access to a gym. Maybe you don't have the budget for it right now, or you just don't have time, but that doesn't mean that you can't exercise at home. So I know sometimes it's hard to get motivated, to get moving and to stay moving at home, for home workouts, but there's tons of videos online that you can follow. And one that we really like, and a channel that we really like is Fitness Blender. They have some great videos on YouTube. So you might wanna try that out. But even better than working out at home is getting outside. So I know the weather will definitely not always be optimal and you'll have to bundle up, put on a few extra layers, but I promise you it will be worth it. Every single time I get outside, even in the worst weather, I always get home feeling so much better than when I left the house. So just know that that is the hardest part is leaving the house. So lace up your shoes, bundle up, do whatever you have to do to get outside. And then you could get out there and go for a hike or go for a run. And you could probably even find a tree to climb and do some pull-ups on. But if you don't have a tree to do pull-ups on, you can still get a workout in outside. Let's go do some push-ups. And this is actually how I got into working out was I just started to do push-ups and pull-ups on tree branches when I was on my trail runs. But I know sometimes the weather is just too bad and you can't even get outside. So in that case, you could always go to your local pool. So obviously I can't film in there or that would be kind of creepy. So I'm just out here with my goggles on in the parking lot. But uh, I always feel so much better after going to this. When I'm cold in the winter, they've got a sauna in there, a hot tub, and obviously a pool and like a diving board. I'm always like jumping with the kids and stuff. It is always good times. But if you don't have a swimming pool to go to, you could always go to the local hockey rink. So you could probably do like a free skate or join whoever's playing out there right now if you wanted. But yeah, you just gotta keep doing stuff. You just can't sit around and be stagnant. You gotta get up, do some new things, get some new hobbies and that sort of stuff. So yeah, maybe you wanna visit the hockey rink, do some ice skating. All this stuff's good to do, but it's always good setting goals for yourself. So this winter, I have committed to building my legs up more, getting some more muscle in them. So I'm gonna be doing more leg workouts 
and eating in a slight surplus so that my body has everything that it needs in order to grow that extra leg muscle. And eating more in the winter time is always easy for me to do. So tying your goals to fitness is a win-win situation because not only does it get you moving, but it gives you something to look forward to. So maybe you're not so much of a gym person, maybe you like to go running instead, or you wanna run a 10K next year, something like that. Make it your goal to get out there and run every few days, maybe three times a week or something like that. But your goals don't have to be fitness related. It can be anything. Maybe you want to learn a new skill like juggling. And this winter, I might actually try and learn the elusive four ball juggle. I'm so far away from it right now. I don't even know how to start it. I'm gonna try it out real quick. Oh, I think I actually get it now, sort of. That's the first time I've been able to kind of wrap my head around it. Okay, I don't know. I might take all winter. <laughs> so I don't know what you like to do, but a goal can really help you stay motivated when the days seem so short and the nights seem so long. And another thing that really helps me is having some indoor hobbies and things that I can do when the weather is not that nice outside or when it gets dark really early. So some people like to draw, others like to knit. I love working on these little RC cars. I don't know what it is about them. I find that I work on them more than I actually like drive them. I just love like souping them up, getting the wiring to look like all neat and tidy, painting the bodies. And that is kind of my thing, but there's lots of different things. I mean, you might like to read a good book, but I'm honestly not that much of a reader, I have to admit. I kind of prefer more hands-on things like playing the guitar. I'm pretty out of practice though, and I think this is pretty out of tune. Good thing the winter's long because I definitely need to work on this. But yeah, just, you know, don't just sit around and like scroll on your phone and get all sad and everything. You got to do stuff. And that, I get caught in this trap as well, where I just like sit there and you know, forget that I have other things to do other than just sitting around scrolling. So reinvigorate some of those old passions. But one thing that is super important and you cannot forget to do is supplementation. So this is important for not only our overall health, but also our immune health, because who likes to get sick in the winter time, but also mood as well. It's amazing how much proper supplementation can help to keep your mood up and ward off depression, especially in the winter time. Vitamin B12, D, omega-3s and zinc can all play a role in our immune health, but also our mood as well. So it's important to supplement those. Vitamin D, especially during the winter, you might wanna up the dose a little bit as well because we are not getting any vitamin D from sun. So I like to use Veg Essentials Multivitamin. It's just two capsules and it gives me everything that I need. You guys know that I'm an ambassador for them and I do have a discount code and an affiliate link in the description box down below. I do get a kickback if you use that, but that you don't have to just use Veg Essential. Just make sure that you're supplementing those nutrients because it's gonna be good for your overall health, and like I said, immunity, and also your mood. So I know I jumped around a whole bunch in this video and I just wanted to try something different. So hopefully it was entertaining and enjoyable to watch and maybe I gave you some ideas on different things that you can do this winter to ward off the winter blues. But you'll have to let me know in the comments down below what do you do in the winter time when it's all dark and cold to pass the time to keep those winter blues away. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon with another video and like and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye bye. Here's some other videos of mine that I think you might like. And if you're looking for some delicious and healthy plant-based recipes, check out my new recipe ebook, Easy Vegan Comfort Meals. It contains over 60 plant-based recipes, lots of delicious sauces that I know you're gonna love. Thanks for watching and thanks for the support.